Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and uh, doing a little bit of a project on this car. Adding adaptive cruise control, night vision, changing the ABS bump from a normal four wheel drive to an active cruise control, which is required for the upgrade. It's a 2010 535. Also changing the switch here, changing the steering to a lane departure one, changing the windshield to um, accommodate for a lane departure camera, adding head up display. So there's a lot of work to be done on this car. We're starting today with, uh, oh yeah, there, there's just way too much details. I'm gonna try to document it by pictures and hopefully short videos here and there, but eventually I'll have uh, different write-ups for all of the work involved. There's gonna be a lot of work there behind that uh, glove box. So that's where most of the modules are. It's gonna be some work here and uh yeah well we'll get cracking today we're gonna be replacing the module or the dynamic stability control with this one so the difference between the two is uh, Basically, this one would have the active cruise control, that's the part number, versus the one that's in the car right now, which is, which doesn't have it. Okay, here we are, uh, got the unit replaced. tightened the bolts all around or the the lines the uh, brake lines got a pressure leader leaving it on a very low uh, setting right now it's on 5 psi I have a, a battery maintainer around 30 amps I don't need anything more at the moment and we're starting with the rear left. I already have the car plugged in. So with Esta Plus, where we did a, I did a, a complete uh, vehicle readout, and then I went to vehicle management and then service functions and then chassis and then traction control and then brake bleeding procedure but it would be brake bleeding routine for special cases So it starts, uh, it's basically a six step. You have to read this before continuing. So what it does is it flushes the rear, starting with the rear left, then front left. So it flushes the rear completely, or the rear axle. And then you keep the hose connected to the rear left, the drain hose, um, and then 
you do uh, uh, six pumps in 30 seconds, four to five seconds each. And then you go on. So that's a rear axle is one step, then the vent in the rear left, which is basically the same wheel. Then you move on to the front. I've done this before, but uh, I've had a problem because my bleeder valves were clogged and uh, I had it in the front left. So it was supposed to bleed the front axle and it didn't because there was no fluid coming out because of my bleeder valve was clogged or the vent valve and then front left which is the same wheel then front right then rear right now notice in the front in the front right and the rear right which are the last two steps there is a four to five seconds uh, pumps and then approximately 20 pump operations in 100 seconds you do that for the rear right and the front right so you're basically going clockwise looking at the car from the top you'd be uh, rear left front left front right rear right I hope that this helps someone I've had a lot of trouble I struggled with uh, finding out if I can do this with Ista plus and I I even tried it I went through <laughs> many uh, trials before finding out the proper way all right so we're about to start in the rear axle circuit I need to loosen just a little bit you can see it's already starting to come out because of the pressure bleeder and then we'll go ahead and there's the activation sequence you get all kinds of warnings and then you get fluid that's starting to pump into here So the test step was completed successfully. Now you keep everything the way it is. If you follow the procedure, you're gonna go into this here. So this goes as follows. Continue. Now it says bleeder routine for bleeding the rear left brake line is started in the next step. Follow instructions. Now continue and then pump the brake pedal two three I've already done this so I'm only gonna do four it says uh, six times but this is already I know that there is no leaks or no air bubbles in that system or at least in the rear left and then close the bleeder And we're gonna move on to the front left now, which is where I have the problem. If I figure it out, it's gonna be in this video on how to unclog the bleeder valve. Okay, just a quick one. So uh, I, I had to do it quickly because the bleeder valve when you remove it just because of gravity fluid would start to drip out from the area so I had to like improvise I basically used a, one of these I wrapped a glove around it and just shoved it in the area just to stop the leak while I was fixing the bleeder so if you imagine well this is not it but as close as it gets there's a hole 
at the bottom of the bleeder and there is a hole where you plug in the the hose basically to bleed the line so this hole was complete there is a circle here that just goes in and it meets with the line that exits through here so imagine a 90 degree so just imagine this being a hole inside of the bleeder valve and this was completely clogged I had to like work my way in with a pick and this one as well so I used a, a drill bit I think it's an eighth I believe it's an eighth but so I basically worked my way in from here cleaning I used the something to hold it and I was basically turning that unit just the bleeder around so that I was able to clean it and I used a lot of brake clean so a combination of pick tools the straight one the curved one and then um, a simple eighth I believe size drill bit and you should be able to unclog any uh, bleeder valve if you're in the middle of the job and you're stuck, this is the way to do it. I cleaned it very well. I used a small bucket to uh, uh, just clean and pick, etc. And it worked. I tested it at the end and everything worked out fine. So the bleeding procedure is now complete on the entire car. I have not yet taken it for a test drive, but if there is any problem, then I will be reporting it either in the video or in the description. Thank you for watching. All right, well, this is just a follow-up. I, I just wanted to show the actual uh, bleed valve after it's been cleaned up. And what I did is I went with the pick and I cleaned here and then I went with the drill bit uh, that you saw earlier and I just kept on cleaning the inside now you can see it's shiny um, I used brake cleaner and uh, well there you have it